sauce, I'm going to use one of my favorite tomato products, Pomi. Pomi from Parma, Italy. These are Roma tomatoes. They're organically grown in Parma. They're organically packaged, okay? And in this recipe, I'm going to use some chopped tomatoes, and I'm going to use some Pomodoro Basilico. I love this product. It's better than most others that I've had, and it's certified 100% organic, and it just tastes delicious. I love Pomi. Okay, for this lasagna sauce recipe, I'm also going to be using some finely diced onion, some tomato paste, and some extra stewed tomatoes. And along with some salt and pepper to taste, I'm also going to round out the sauce with some dried basil, dried Greek oregano bulbs, finely minced garlic, some crushed red chili flakes for a little flavor, a little heat, and some olive oil. Okay guys, first thing I'm going to do to start this sauce off, is I'm going to saute some onions and garlic right in my sauce pot. Okay. The exact measurements for all the ingredients will be on my blog over at www.richardblainzeasycooking.com. Okay, as you can see, the onions and garlic have browned up. So now I'm going to add some tomato paste to that. And I'm going to stir that in. Get the tomato paste to absorb some of the flavor, the onion and garlic. Break it up a little bit. And in goes the pony. And then I'm going to add. Hi, we go. Pomi, pomodoro and basil. Mm. It's going to be about three quarts of sauce. Stir this up, and then I'm going to add the extra stewed tomatoes. Okay, the sauce is just simmering around the edges, so let's add the rest of the ingredients. A little bit of salt, some coarse ground black pepper, okay. some red chili flakes, just enough for some flavor, and a little bit of heat, okay. some dried Greek oregano bulbs. Some dried basil. And a little bit of olive oil. Keep everything from sticking. Okay guys, this sauce has been simmering for about 25 minutes. And it's got a certain amount of acid built up into it. So I'm just going to squirt about two tablespoons of honey in there. I'll to cut the acidity. I know I said I was going to use red wine vinegar. I decided to change my mind and use a white wine sherry vinegar. And the sugar from the honey, the sweetness, will cut the acidity of the vinegar and of the tomatoes and just allow the lovely flavors of all the ingredients to come through. Okay, um, guys. Now on to our ricotta cheese mixture. This is about a pound and a half of room temperature whole milk ricotta cheese. And to that, I am going to add two beaten eggs. And I'm going to add some mozzarella cheese shreds. To that, freshly ground Parmesan cheese. Now, I'm going to add a few more things to this. Minced garlic. Some Italian spice mix. A combination of salt and black pepper. I'm going to mix this up and you'll see what it looks like in just about a minute. Okay guys, there you have it. Our ricotta cheese filling mixture is done. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator to chill for a few minutes to make it a little more manageable on the spoon. Okay guys, here's the boiling water and I'm putting in my lasagna noodles. Okay, into well salted water. These will loosen up pretty okay, quick. Okay guys, everything is ready. Let's layer up a lasagna. First thing I'm going to do is get some sauce at the bottom of the lasagna dish. I'm using a 9 by 13 okay. by 2. Second thing we want to do is we want to layer three or four lasagna noodles right across the bottom. Okay. Now to that, I'm going to layer some mozzarella cheese. Not a whole hell of a lot because I've got a lot of it in the ricotta cheese mixture as well. Then we want to take a little extra Parmesan, give it a little bit all over. Give it that nice pungent Parmesan taste. And 
we're going to put a dollop of that about every inch or two, just like so. Here, here, a little in the corner, and then, okay, we're going to drizzle just a little more sauce. Top of that. Okay, just a little bit. Okay, then I'm gonna take some spinach leaves. Okay, this is gonna be spinach and ground beef lasagna, and I love spinach in my lasagna. And to that, another layer of noodle. Press it down. Press it down. Okay, to that, some more sauce. Okay, and to that, more mozzarella. This is gonna be nice, ooey gooey, cheesy, comfort food lasagna. Parmesan. And on top of this, Meat, ground beef. I used a very lean ground beef for this. I used a 93.7, okay? So I had to add a little olive oil to it when I was cooking it because it's a very lean, lean meat, okay? Just a little drizzle of sauce to get the noodle to stick to it. Not Last layer much. of noodle. One, two, and to that, remainder of the sauce, okay. Last of the Parmesan, uh, excuse me, mozzarella on the top. One last shake of Parmesan. On top of this, I'm going to put a loose fitted piece of tin foil. Okay. Just a little tent. Just like so. Here and here on the handle. Bent in a little bit on the corners. Okay. Not making much contact with what's on it. Okay. Just a nice little tent. All right, this is going in the oven at 375 for 45 minutes, and I'll see you when it's all done. My easy spinach and ground beef lasagna. I count four layers in there. I'm going to let it cool and set, and then I'm going to eat my...